Thank you. I wonder who's more freaked out right now. Me, knowing that I'm in a hospital where they get their medicine via dog sled. Or you, finally finding out I know your secret. How long have you known? I guess I've always had my suspicions. The quick exits, the miraculous recoveries, the lame excuses. But I think when I saw you catch a car like it was a beach ball, that kind of confirmed everything. Why didn't you say anything? I figured if you wanted to tell me you were part of the superpower persuasion, you would when you were ready. On your terms, not on mine. You're a good friend, Chloe. Obviously not good enough. There were so many times I wanted to tell you. Clark, I don't blame you. Loose lips sink ships, and God knows I've sunk my share of flotillas. What about Lana? Does she know? No. Well, I want you to know that I will never be the iceberg to your Titanic, and your secret will never, ever leave my lips, no matter what. I appreciate that. There's still a few blind spots, though. Like, how did we get beamed from the Kawachi Cave to the North Pole? And, uh, what was really going on in that 40-story igloo? Chloe, there's a lot of things about me that even I don't understand. The meteorocks, they didn't make me who I am. So you're saying you were born this way? I wasn't born anywhere near Smallville. In fact, I wasn't born anywhere near this galaxy. Okay. Okay, so that would then make you like an... Yeah. Uh, but you... You look so... Human? I'm still the same person. Clark, I... I think you're so amazing. You save people's lives and take zero credit for it. To me, you're more than just a hero. You're a superhero. Chloe. I'm serious, Clark. If more humans were like you, the world would be a better place. They didn't get out. My parents didn't get out. Smallville needs you more than I do, Clark. Go. Go! 